John, let's uh, let's go back into the past. Back, <laughs> back, be back into time. That's, that's right. All right, and and talk about how you got started and uh, things related to that. Okay, well, I was living in Little Rock, Arkansas, in my early twenties and stuff because I'd gone there to play baseball and uh, for ULR on scholarship and tore both my rotor cuffs and couldn't play anymore and didn't know what to do and had a girlfriend that I broke up with that. So I was leaving her house, and she threw a guitar at me and said, see if you can make something out of yourself with this thing. And I'd had a guitar when I was a teenager and stuff, but I hadn't picked, with, hadn't messed with it for years, didn't take it serious or nothing like that. And so rather than just become a hopeless drunk and a fry cook, I decided that, <laughs> that maybe, you know, I'd give this guitar playing a, a, a shake and, it seems like I kind of had a knack for it. And within six months, I was getting to play my first gig. And at the end of the night, this big burly guy comes up and puts money in my left hand. And there's these two really cute young girls. <laughs> of course, I was quite young, too. So there was these two really cute girls on my right side talking to me and giving me their phone numbers. So... I just kind of looked in my left hand and said, this guy gave me money, and these two girls are actually talking to me just because I stood on stage for three hours and played my guitar. I think I know what I want to do for a living. <laughs> and I ain't never looked back since then. I was 24 at that time, and this is pretty much all I've done my whole adult life is yeah. is play guitar, and I've been very fortunate that people still keep giving me money and girls keep on talking to me so <laughs> hey, 